terrain, infinity terrain. So I mentioned in the last video when I talked about the box that I made, I've made some of my own terrain. And I will attach um, as part of this uh, blog post and um, in the underneath the YouTube video uh, some links to some PDFs. So what I would I did was I decided I wanted some forest terrain. That was the first stuff I worked on. So I just kind of built some patterns um, with a little just simple graphics on it, and then I would print them out on um, um, not regular paper but like cardstock. So this is, it doesn't have to be too thick. In fact, this isn't very thin cardstock. But one sheet is this tree trunk. And it's basically a whole sheet of paper. I just cut it out and then crease it along these edges on like the table edge or whatever. So you, you're gonna kind of create like a, you know, uh, it's not a circle, but it'll work close enough. And then there are these two end pieces. Um, and actually there's four of them, right? Uh, well, there's, each sheet has three of them, uh, three sets, so six of them. There's the white one, which is going to be the bottom of the tree, and uh, this will be the top of the tree. Uh, onto the bottom, I then, in this case, I taped them, um, but or you could glue them, or you could both. Um, some pennies. Um, three pennies fit, but two pennies is probably fine. And really what you're just trying to do is get some stability on the bottom of the tree so it doesn't knock over or move around or get blown over. And then what I'm doing here is I've got these tabs. So I do a combination of gluing and taping the tabs down to one edge, and then we would do it again here and here. Right, so. And then again and again, and I'm not, obviously not actually doing it here. And at this point, you've got to kind of roll it up, and then you can glue or tape that and or tape that final edge there, and you've got a tree. I'm not gonna, I'll show you some end results in a sec. Uh, a similar thing here with, I made some, what are, I, I call root boxes, but you know, you just, these are good for big, tall, full cover items, but you know, if you want some half cover, and these are just boxes, you're just building them, and it, to be honest, this is a pattern that you'll see all over the internet with some free terrain that you can get for Infinity, um, where you're printing out and making little boxes for things or crates or whatever, so, very simple. Again, you're just gluing and or taping these things together. Those will probably be pretty obvious how you do it. Uh, then I had a couple other things. So I decided to make a bush, a couple bushes for some shorter terrain. So what I did here was, um, you'll see on the, on the PDF, you've got a sheet of these shapes. What I've done is I print these out on full sheet uh, sticker paper, full sheet label paper. And then I cut them out and peel them off. And well, actually what I'll do is I'll actually stick them, I'll cut them out a bit and stick them onto, in this case, just a piece of cardboard box. So Amazon sends you a cardboard box, you save it, you stick these on it. And so I've got, and then you do one side, cut out the shapes, the specific shapes, and then do the other side because um, it's hard to, it is hard to line those things up when you've got too big of a piece. Then here, you'll notice on the pattern, this is not really cut out this big. The width of this is really gonna be determined by the width of your piece of cardboard because what you end up doing then is you just go junk and you've got some kind of strange alien bush. That the, they stand up better when you have the bottoms lined up like that. Awesome. And then I took that to an nth degree. I wanted a sniper tree. So there's another page there that is the sniper tree, and it's the exact same deal. So you just stick the page onto a piece of cardboard box, and then cut out the pieces, affix the same pattern onto the other side, and cut along the grooves. And then I've actually tried to label in the pattern how this fits together. This is a little bit more complicated, but I'll show it here too. So you start with two big pieces here, and you're gonna put this, these slots together here, and this is gonna kind of form your structural base for the tree. And then I take this guy, and this guy is gonna fit in here. So this slot and this slot, and then this tab in that slot, and that gets me that gets me that, and that's a platform. And yes, this is strong enough. I've put three minute minis on this at the same time. It is strong enough to hold it up. I mean, this is just regular old corrugated cardboard. It's nothing fancy. Um, you could probably use chipboard if you wanted to too. And then uh, you can put another, whoop. Sorry about that. You can put um, another platform up top, but first I'm gonna put the top of the tree up because it helps provide some security for that other platform. 
So, and in this one, you don't want to slide it all the way down necessarily. You want to line up these grooves here a little bit better because that's where this goes in. And then you stick that in, junk, and there you go. And then that's a, a top, tippy top platform that one or two minis can get on, depending on what you got going on. And let me show you one other thing. So the last thing I did, and I'll show you this all set up on a, on a table in a sec. So I took that, um, this is foam core now, um, and I took the foam core box putting together, insert making skills I learned for the box that I, uh, for the minis, the army boxes, and I put it to use here making some trains. So what I did here, I wanted to make a, um, like a short haul spaceship trucker type thing. So this is designed, this is the back, this is the cab part, and it's designed to have some crates on it. So the standard crates you find, these are ones that I printed out online, but they're pretty much the same size as the ones you get in like the starter boxes and infinity cells, Dick Corvus belly cells. And um, then there's a cab to it that I'll show you in a sec that's on the table. And this is, it's just foam core. And again, I did print it out full sheet, um, the pattern on full sheet, uh, sticker paper, uh, label paper, stuck it out on stuff, cut it. Foam core is a little tricky to cut. At least I find it a little tricky to cut. Um, you really gotta press really hard and pull quick. The, and you have to have a nice sharp blade because otherwise the little pieces inside the foam core pull. So this edge is pretty nice actually, but but you'll get pulls. And then, so then I did that on these, you know, individual pieces, right? And then, for this, this piece is bigger. This this piece was just bigger than the, the size of the box, basically. And I cut out these little notches so that I could fold it down and I put some glue on the edge there and and then just kind of stuck it in place for a little bit and it held. And that's a nice, so that's a ramp that, that people can go up, which is nice because I like that a little, it's nice in the situation because it makes sense, but it also is a little easier on the miniatures than stairs, which, they never really fit on the stairs. Um, so this is the back of the cab, and it's a very sturdy box. People stand on it. You know, you can get some cover behind, and you can have as many of these crates on there as you want. Now let me go show you this all set up on a table. Walk back to where the table is set up, and here we are. Here is everything on the table. So you've got, I've got a bunch of trees, I've got a bunch of boxes, um, I've got some crates down. This is basically the same tree model, except instead of putting a top and a bottom on it, I actually cut out um, some stiffer cardboard um, bottoms and tops and just kind of stuck them in the middle, connected to give it some rigidity. In theory, you could put a mini on top of this. And then I cut this out to slot into the bottom. Um, I don't really have a plan for that because I kind of faked it as I built it. But then here is the top this is the, the front cab, so this is a scenario where the thing crash landed and crates scattered everywhere. But um, this is the, and what I did here is I didn't actually glue the top onto the box. And that way it comes off and it's a building and you can get inside of it. And the door I cut out um, very carefully so that you can just kind of take that off if somebody opens the door and walk inside or you could put it back in. It fits nice and snug and comes in and out pretty well. I mean, maybe over after time it'll get busted, but I did not carve out the windows like this is supposed to be a window and there's one in the front there that you can see. I didn't carve those out because my theory was um, this is a spaceship, so the glass is not gonna be something that you can break with small arms fire. Um, so you can't shoot in or out of it. But I envision that you could make buildings this way. Um, and this stuff is light, as I'll get out. Um, it's gonna be much lighter than the plastic stuff that you get online uh, or the wood stuff uh, in mass. Um, is it cheaper to build? I think probably, especially if you don't a lot of it because you can buy a couple pieces of foam core and I've done this plus my inserts and I still have most of my two sheets of foam core that I bought. So we've got a lot more we can make and you can build yourself a nice little train set here. So hopefully this was uh, also fun and informative and I'll have some more links below to the PDFs for the plans for most of the stuff that I've got here and uh, other people that really kind of helped me out with online advice and tips. Thanks and see you guys again later.